sleepover. It is night time. Peppa is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Peppa. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. Twitterwoo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> Mr. Zebra is watching television. <laughs> That's better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. <laughs> the sleepover is only for big girls. <laughs> oh. They're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK. But you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... <laughs> too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy. And a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <clears throat> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said... Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. It is a school day. Peppa and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh, Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear, Pedro has a cough. Not to worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. 
This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <coughs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Ooh. Uh, oh. Oh. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Teddy Playgroup. It is home time at Peppa's Playgroup. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup is coming to stay. Who? Teddy Playgroup is our school mascot. It's Peppa's turn to take him home. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. It's all in his suitcase. I see. Peppa, Daddy Pig and Teddy Playgroup have arrived home. Mummy Pig, we have a special guest staying with us tonight. Really? Who's that? Teddy Playgroup. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. What's the photo album for? We take photos of him doing exciting things. Oh. My friends have took Teddy Playgroup all over the world. London, Paris, Egypt... 
Oh, I say, Teddy Playgroup does have an exciting life. Um, I hope he has an exciting time with us. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. Grrr. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes! I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop sells everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. Cheese. Cheese! <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy, you've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. How are we going to find Teddy Playgroup, Daddy? First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Mummy Pig is unpacking the shopping. Where are you going? We're going to stick pictures of Teddy Playgroup on trees. Oh. Daddy, wait for me! Why are we sticking photos on trees, Daddy? When people see the pictures of Teddy Playgroup, they'll know he's lost and they can help us find him. Oh. This is Teddy in my bed. <laughs> this is Teddy in the kitchen. <laughs> and these are George's pictures at the supermarket. Ah, oh, Teddy Playgroup. I know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Mummy, we know where Teddy Playgroup is. Yes, he's in the shopping bag with the pasta and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is showing her class Teddy Playgroup's photo album. I was worried. That Teddy Playgroup wouldn't have an exciting adventure with us. Then luckily, my daddy lost him at the supermarket. <gasps> but we found him again in the shopping. Ooh. That was an exciting adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's computer. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Watch this! A cuckoo clock! Yes, it goes cuckoo, cuckoo, but it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh, I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. 
letter. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry. You can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> 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 the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! <laughs> uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Goodbye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! wow. So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Mr. Fox's van. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Come on, let's cycle through the big hill. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. I do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle?
bicycle race, please. How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along too? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> Captain Daddy Dog. Pepper and her friends are playing at Danny Dog's house. I'm a sea captain sailing across the sea. We are jolly pirates. Shiver me timbers. Aha! <laughs> it's the post. It is Mr. Zebra, the postman. Hello, Mummy Dog. I've got a postcard for you. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. Bye now. Who is the postcard from, Mummy? It's from Captain Dog. Daddy! He's finished his sailing trip around the world and he's coming home. Ooh! How exciting! I wonder when he'll be back. Ahoy there, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Hello, Captain Dog. Hello! Daddy! Danny! Daddy! Danny! Captain Dog is home from the sea. My Captain Dog! Mummy Dog, my sweetheart! How long are you home for, Daddy? Forever. I've decided my travelling days are over. I've been around the world and made me fortune. Ooh! And lost it again. Oh! And made it again! Hooray! <sighs> I love to travel. But there's something I really miss when I'm away. What, Daddy? My darlings, of course! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hanging up my captain's hat for good. Let me tell you all about my travels. I've been away for a year and a day, sailing around the world. All the way around? Yes. What did you do at the bottom? Did you fall off? No. I held on tightly. Wow. What an adventure. It was. And I've brought back presents for all of you. Ooh, presents. Here is a drum for Danny from a far away jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. 
And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun! Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates! Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy, will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny, if you'll be my first mate. Yes, please. Launch the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Wind is southwesterly. The waters are calm. My last adventure was sailing a boat around the world. My next adventure is sailing a boat across a duck pond. <laughs> Captain Dog likes sailing across duck ponds. Everyone likes sailing across duck ponds. <laughs> Queen. Pepper and her family are watching television. <laughs> and now, a special message from the Queen. The Queen! The Queen! <laughs> this is the Queen. Hello to you all. Hello, Queen! Today, I have decided to give an award to the hardest working person in the country. I wonder who that will be. It certainly won't be you, darling. The hardest working person in the country is Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Miss Rabbit runs the ice cream stall, the recycling centre, the library, she drives the train, the fire engine, flies a rescue helicopter, and works the supermarket checkout. Phew! What a long day! Surprise! Ah! What are you not doing here? Miss Rabbit, I have a very special letter for you. Open it! <laughs> Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! <laughs> it is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a Queen to kick a ball about. Where is the Queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello. Have you seen the Queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. 
The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No? No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. 